Tyler Perry confirms no foul play in his nephew's prison death after um, second autopsy. Recall that the filmmaker ordered a second autopsy following the passing of his nephew after he was found dead in his cell. Um, Potter was serving a 20-year sentence in prison for the shooting and killing of his father. Okay, I like that. There was a quick update and um, I also like that the updates I don't know if I can use positive in this situation, mm. but yeah, it is positive and it is what they said it was. Yeah. Uh, and he said something, he said um, the knowing the result or knowing the truth does not take away grief, but it's, yeah. it's okay. Answers don't take away grief, but they surely give room for griefing to take its course. So yeah, okay. I guess it's time for them to now grieve properly and... Yeah. I'm One. sure he has a lot of questions. I remember in the last the last time he was saying he had spoken to him just recently mm -hmm. and the man seemed fine and he seemed promising. And I think it just shows again that we have no idea what's going on with the suicide thing. We um, don't. We don't know what actually happens, what makes them do what they do. So if anything, I know he has a lot of questions um, as to like where he missed out. You know, you couldn't really see it. Uh, it's not easy. I mean, this is somebody that has... Uh, you have to wonder, first of all, if there wasn't already a history of mental health issues from him being able to kill his father in front of his mother. That already seems like a pretty drastic... Like, nobody makes that statement just easily. Like, I killed my dad in front of my mom. Like, not a lot of people can say that. Um, so already, it, it just gave me the hint that maybe there's already something off a, a bit. So I'm happy that they have been able to now prove that it wasn't actually a, a murder and it was suicide. So... May he so rest in peace. Yeah, um, for me, I think that the fact that it was a suicide just reveals that he must have had mental health issues. And um, for me, because when you look at the um, American um, justice system, when you look at the prison system, you realize that there's a high incarceration of black men. Right. And you realize that conversations are not had about the mental health of some of these black men after incarceration and even during incarceration because the fact that um, Tyler Perry had suspicions about um, his, co his nephew's death, yeah. you know, it could have been maybe was being bullied in prison mm. because they said there is a high rate of discrimination even in prison against black men. Yeah. Whether you like it or not, okay, we might think that racism only happens maybe beyond the prison walls. Within the prison walls, you know, there is also discrimination, there's racism. So we don't know exactly what his nephew had been going through, mm. you know, in the prison system you yeah. don't know if he was being bullied by you know the wardens or yeah. the people there we don't know exactly what it was that he was going to that led him to commit suicide because for me even the fact that you know there was no foul play in his death meaning that he wasn't murdered but he actually committed suicide means that I feel like there should still be an investigation carried out to find out what led to, to him suicide, you know taking yeah. that decision looking at what you said also the fact that he um, killed his father in front of his mother. I felt like instead of taking him to the prison, they should have taken him to a mental institution. Yeah. Because the truth is, if he was a white, white man, man he course. would have been taken to a mental health institution because he would have given him several given excuses. Name, yeah. They would have said that, oh, he was a prime student, he was mm. a good student, they don't understand how he was able to do this. Yeah. So there's still this conversation was still brought down to race, mental health issues, mm. and the fact that people don't often have these conversations when it comes to black men. It's like we're already used to them being like devils. Yeah. So if something like that happens, it's about to think, okay, should this person be taken to a mental health facility? What, yeah. is, what is it that you were going through? What was it that was in your mental psyche for you to, you know, take this step? We don't look at all of that. We just put them in and the it, prison it, it's system. It's interesting how you bring up that, that bit because I know for the fact that the way media are released represented in America, let's not generalize it, is that um, black men are usually... Um, branded as violent and then white men are usually you the way they represent them is like you want to have sympathy for them like yeah. oh they have this issue and it's you know it's a like the person that shot the black people in church that killed about four people i've forgotten his name he was still in the news the other day for complaining that he wasn't served properly and you know the food or something wasn't good or something like that but you know the, the same treatment would not be given to a black yeah, man they'll have um bigger problems so it's, it's like you know a free man is still facing issues locked it you know them if i do them if i don't so it must be it's I haven't lived in America, but I can say it must be really hard for a black person to be raised there. But back to Tyler Perry, I just hope that him and his family, especially the mother who has now lost her husband and, and her son, son, I hope they find some peace.